All right, welcome back to Marvel Step, everyone. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Scar. All right, I hit the wrong button there. Give me a sec. <laughs> we're going to be taking a look at Scar, who costs two less for each of your cards that has 10 or more power. I am really enjoying this deck. This deck focuses on getting 10 power cards out onto different lanes, and then at the end of either turn 5 or turn 6, playing Scar for basically nothing. The whole point of the deck is to try and get these cards as big as possible. And it is super fun because the only real counter to this deck is Shang-Chi. And Shang-Chi can only really work on one lane. So by the end of the game, you have a lot of power across all of your locations and it's super simple to do. And let's just get into it. I think the only change that I would do is if I had... But if I had one of the other four tens that can only be played... Uh, on a location where you have a one cost card, I would probably put Thanos in the deck to help me draw through a lot of the cards. But because I don't have that 410, Thanos is not in the deck. And we have this instead. And the best part about this deck that I just I just cannot get past is that Agony actually has a place. Which is crazy. Because if you play Agony now, after you play a card here, merge with it. If you play Gladiator on that lane, he becomes a 310, which is fantastic. Ooh, Krakoa is good. We kind of need that, actually. And he's not playing uh, Arisham, so we're just going to play Forge over here. That is why Cassandra Nova is in the deck, because every time you go up against an Arisham player, Cassandra Nova is an easy 320. And otherwise, she's just like a 3-5 or a 3-6, and still sort of on, like, pretty decent curve, which is pretty cool. It looks like I'm up against an Agatha deck, because these are very one-drop cards. So I think what we'll do is we'll go... We'll go Cassandra Nova here. It'll go to a 312. Which is good. It reduces Scar by 2. Which is all we're aiming for at the moment. And I think what we're going to do next is go Typhoid Mary in the middle. So then we're going to add 10 power to the next card in our deck. Which is insane. It's okay that he's gaining power on the left hand side. Because this is the whole reason Shadow King is in the deck. So we're going to play Typhoid Mary in the middle. And then bump up our next card in the deck by 10. Which is crazy. I wonder if it gets one or two power here. Two power, okay, cool. Marvel Boy is fine. Okay, it reduced the next card of his deck by minus one. Okay, we have a 416 Namor. Uh, I can either play Hope Summers and Shadow King, but I don't know if I should do that now or later. If I play Hope Summers into Shadow King, that gets me an extra energy so I can play the Pig and Namor next turn. And then it also reduces him down to basically nothing. So let's do that, and then Namor will just win the left-hand side by himself. Well, not by himself, but like, he'll have 16 power and can just win that lane. Okay, unless we draw Scar, which we didn't. Okay, it, uh, two cards left in the deck. I think what we do here is we go Namor on the left, that guarantees us at that lane. And then Gladiator on the right. Yeah, let's do that. Gladiator should kill the next two cards of his deck, which if he's playing Zoo, it's probably just cards to boost up cards in his deck, like uh, Kazar, Blue Marble, stuff like that. What, what's the last card? And Dazzler, okay, still dead. And Agatha, yeah. Uh, so yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, you just put power on, like, all the locations, and it's kind of just hard to beat. Victory! Genuinely, like, this deck is so much fun to play. Because you just play big dudes, and the opponent just can't do anything about it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So we'll go Forge into Gladiator here. That means Gladiator will become a 310. And then Namor, will, maybe we'll play on the right. Because Namor by himself uh, becomes a 411, which is basically all we need to, to lock down a lane. Oh, we actually got 4 energy here. Okay, no, 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 that's really good. So Gladiator into Zabu. Zabu will reduce... All of our four cost cards by one, which only affects uh, Typhoid Mary at the moment, but that's, we'll take that. Oh my god! It's the two power he needed to kill it. Fantastic. Okay, we have five energy, and he also has five energy. Hmm. I think we go Namor here. Namor gives us an 11 power card, which means we can also play Crossbones there if we're winning that location, which we're not. Spider Ham hitting Shadow King is fine. I 
Okay, we need to be slightly concerned about what's going on here. So we need to just play cards. Ooh. Uh, for the other locations. So let's go Hope in the middle and then Typhoid Mary on the left. Is that the play? If I play anything on the right, Namor goes down by 5 power, which is not good. But then I need Typhoid Mary to win the left hand side, unless I do the opposite. I go Typhoid Mary in the middle and then Hope on the left. That puts me to 18 power. And unless... Unless he plays Blue Marvel or something like that, I'm... St okay, he didn't play anything. Okay, so it doesn't look like he plays Blue Marvel or Kazar, because otherwise he would play that. So... Uh, Agatha is 14 power, which means he's going to go to 17 power in the middle. So I just need to play Agathy, Agony, and Crossbones. That puts me to 12 and 22. So that's just game. And there you go. This deck is so much fun to play. Uh, ju just so much fun to play. Victory. I also didn't draw Scar in two games. That's a little bit unlucky. Oh, Double snap. boost. This is cool. So let's go Hope into probably Crossbones. Luke Cage is only there to stop Typhoid Mary, and there's a lot of times where my power gets reduced. Oh god, again. My power gets reduced from my opponent's stuff, that Luke Cage just absolutely saves it. It's just, it's so good. Luke Cage is very, very good card, even when he's a, even after the slight nerf of being a 3-3. Oh, okay. Magic is cool. Magic is cool. I like that. The only reason you play Magic is because you're in a Silver Surfer deck or you're in a Living Tribunal deck. Uh, we've got Crossbones here, we'll get that extra energy. And it looks like Zabu only hit Typhoid Mary again, because that's the only 410 left in the deck. Madam Web and Dagger. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I like it. I like it. Uh, so let's... I think I just gotta go Namor here, really. Because then that reduces Scar by another 2. So we just play Namor, we just put him to a 411. And that way Scar costs 2, and then we can see what else we draw next. Uh, having the Shadow King here to stop whatever is going on with this dagger and move stuff, it's fantastic. Ooh, Beast is cool. Okay, so Forge into Gladiator gives us a... Gives us another 10 power card, so we play Scar for free next turn. Which I feel like is very good. So let's do that. We don't care about the left, we probably care about the middle. Actually, actually, what we'll do is we'll play on the left and the right. So we're gonna win. We're gonna win Fogwell's gym and Mojo World. So we'll play Shadow King and then Scar on the left, which will get us to, like, we'll just we'll remove any powers that he had on there. Because he's definitely gonna play stuff on this lane and then move using Madam Web. Yep, called it. Human Torch, Cloak. And magic. Okay. So magic doesn't do anything. So, I need to know about, like, priorities and stuff, I think. Because, like, what goes first? If he moves the stuff over, do I get a chance to react with my Shadow King to reset his power before he moves it away again? I think... I think you need to wait until his turn. That's my assumption. Is you need to wait until it's his... Like, all the cards will move over because of Cloak. And then Shadow King will go off, reset all the powers then we can play our cards down. So we'll go Agony into Scar. Actually, no, that's... I want to play all these cards, because I can, but Namor is going to go down in power if I play Agony. So we'll go Shadow King on the right, reset his power, because I'm pretty sure that all the cards will move over because of Cloak before he gets the chance to move him away because of Madam Web. I think that only happens on his turn. So he's going to move them all over, Shadow King will reset all the powers, and then on his turn, he can move them all away again to gain more power. So what we'll do is we'll go Luke Cage into Scar, and we'll leave Agony in our hand, because Namor is just better with when he's by himself. So that's the play. Okay, Dagger and Craven is good. I feel like this is going to be Heimdall. Hey, it worked exactly like I wanted it to. Fantastic. Living Tribunal. Ooh, interesting. I like that. Because you make everything bigger with move, and then you just play Living Tribunal to even it all out. That's so cool. Victory. 
And we won all three lanes. <laughs> oh, mad. <laughs> oh, this will be a good test. See? 24, he's playing Arisham. This will be a really good test to see uh, how Cassandra Nova does. Sometimes you don't have any good targets, like Forge into Luke Cage is not very good. Like it's not it's not the best target that you can do. I assume you got this off Arisham. You did, yes. Like it's not the best target, so you're really hoping to draw Gladiator. There we go. <laughs> Baron Zemo will probably pull Zabu, great. Plus four power at the others, okay. So we'll go Gladiator on the right to try and win that lane. Okay, rescue. Be really cool if nothing dies here. Oh, <laughs> okay. So he's set at 21 power there, which means if I go Typhoid Mary. So if I just go Scar here, I tie that lane. Oh, actually, actually, that's not. It's not the best. I, I hit undo. What are you talking about? Oh well. So I think we go zero into Typhoid Mary here. Actually, actually, what we should do is we'll go zero into Typhoid Mary, and then that'll give us space to place down crossbones on Baxter building because we're winning that location. Oh, we're winning, I guess, all the locations at that point. Okay. So, we can move cards to this location, which is fantastic. If he moves everything over into the middle, he will free up this lane to do Shang-Chi on us, which I think I don't want. <laughs> so, what we'll do is if we just dump, we'll just move all the cards into the mid... We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 on the left. Sorry, so we'll move everything but Forge. So Gladiator, Scar, Zero. Oh, but then he's also gonna be winning Baxter building as well, yikes. So how do we do this? How do we do this? How about we just dump the left? We just, let's just assume he doesn't have it and we'll go from there, which is always a great play to do. Just assume the guy doesn't have your counter. Uh, and then we'll just go Hope on the right and Luke Cage in mid. Let's see, see what happens. Oh, jeez. Making me go through all that. So we'll go Luke Cage in mid to try and get that power. And then Neymar on the left, I think. Add a squirrel to each location. Yikes. Okay, we have Cassandra Nova. Fantastic. That is definitely going to reduce Scar by two. Fantastic. All right, Storm. Storm is actually fine, I think. We have access to five energy. So we go Shadow King and then Cassandra Nova. Just to see what happens, I guess. If he plays Juggernaut, I'm screwed. Okay, Groot's fine. Which is why we played... Oh my god! Oh my god! This is rough. Holy cow, I'm so sorry. I just predicted you completely. Alright, Cassandra Nova also reduces Scar by two. Which is... Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> I think the next phase we're probably going to be like Zabu into Scar. Holy cow. Ghost is interesting. I like that. I, I kind of like that with that border. That's cool. Ongoing effects here are doubled. Well, we'll go Hope on the right. And we'll go Namor in the middle, I think. Because then you'll get 10 power instead of just 5. Oh my god. Wind Stop with the storm hand. plays, man. I think the better play is just crossbones. Him being at just 10 power is just better here, I think. Legion, oh my god. On turn 3, he's flooded all locations. Jeez. Escape. Turn 3, <laughs> what the heck was that? Cards did cost one less, so I'll give him that. It did work well. Ooh, okay. He could draw Shadow King. He could have pulled Shadow King from that, which is not good. So we'll just go Luke Cage here, and then go Namor into Typhoid Mary. Oh my god. Stop! Okay. Okay, so he got my Typhoid Mary. But he also could have gotten something from the Daily Bugle again. He could have pulled... The Shadow King. Which... Oh my god! <laughs> Look, I'm getting the points. That's all that matters. But I also want to play the game. Oh, Atlantis. Holy cow. It's all coming up Millhouse. This is the kind of stuff that I want to see in this deck. Just cards... 
Just locations that boost the power of my cards. Sakar, interesting. Alright then. I think that's a coincidence. Or do you think like the writers were like just just high one day and they were like, yo, you know what would be cool? If we named Hulk's son after Sakar. <clears throat> But they did exactly that. They like coughed a little bit and they were like, oh, Scar. Oh, you said Scar? Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, what's the play? Uh, Cassandra over here. Just 21 power is pretty decent. Wind aid my I was going to say it also opens up for like Shang-Chi stuff. So like I'm expecting it on this lane, which means I can focus on the other two lanes. But if he's just going to play Storm, let's go Scar here, put 11 power down. And then Namor on Atlantis seems pretty fitting. Maria Hill. And Drax. Oh, cool. I don't think I have any way to get into these sort of lanes. But we'll see. I think I'm expecting a Shang-Chi. So if I play Agony into Namor here, Namor will get the power from Agony, become a 4-8. Then if Cassandra Nova gets Shang-Chi'd, Namor will boost up in power. Okay, which means we just need to play Typhoid Mary, and then... That's 15 power on the left. Yeah? Sure. Red Skull, okay. And Shadow King. Ah. Oh. Man, Shadow King gets around the loot cage. I always forget that. Alright, it's all or nothing. It's plus three max energy. Sure, let's do it. Sabu was changed... Zabu was changed. I thought it was like every card in your deck gets minus one power. I've always been playing him on the first turn like an idiot. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I really screwed that up. That's like, that's super bad. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I'm not filling that lane. There's no way I'm filling that lane in zone. Mockingbird is fine because it also loses to a, an 11 power Namor. Let's go Typhoid Mary, we'll try and win that lane. Man, I'm actually so bummed out about the Zabu change. Holy cow, I thought that was gonna be a, I thought that was a fantastic play. Genuinely, I was like, this is amazing. Zabu reduces everything by four. Sorry, every four power card by one, so. Uh, and yeah, it did not work like that. <laughs> okay, Hydro Bob is not going to move, so he's actually stuck at 17 power on the left hand side. So to beat that, let's go Agony into Hope. Agony into Luke Cage. So, one, two, three, four, five, six puts us at even on the white room. So, we'll do that and then we'll go Hope into Cassandra Nova to win the game. Gilgamesh is fine. Agent Coulson is fine. And Marta is fine. So. I think he's going to expect me playing here because he doesn't want me screwing up the name war. So we'll go Hope into Cassandra Nova in the middle and we'll just see. 18 power evens it out. Let's see if this wins, shall we? Quinjet and Professor X. That is not enough. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Cassandra Nova still dominates your deck. 18 power. Whew. Yeah, this deck is so much fun to play. It's just so much fun. There's just power everywhere. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of Marvel Snap. I love this deck. This deck is so much fun to play. You just put power on every single lane. Like, oh, sorry. I think if you're playing against Arisham, half the deck has the potential to be over 10 power, which is crazy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from me or Marvel Snap, let me know. I'm definitely going to play more if you want me to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Because we'll start healing on all of our bullets. Stay where you are. Oh, let's go.